Okay, folks. Uh, for those of you who have been on this journey with us, not saying that this thing was doomsday, but who were worried about this very thing, Alan and breaking up, uh, let's take a look. Uh, there it is right there on August 30th, the day of this video. And this is the point where Alan and breaks up. Now, the purpose of this uh, is to remember that Elenin pieces of it are now not just going to be on this track anymore this dark blue to light blue track so you'll get a kind of idea as Elenin spreads out away from this line uh, and as it travels through time we'll see just uh, where uh, what dates we might have a concern now we don't know uh, how far off of this track any of the pieces have been blown um, we have to assume the worst, uh, not to create fear, but just as something to look at. Uh, we would make the argument that now, more than any other time, uh, Ellen needs to be paid attention to. Not only has the actual comet broken up into pieces and become somewhat more of a concern, but the debris tail, not the ion tail, which points away from the sun, points away from the sun always, but the debris tail following in Elenin's weight just got vastly more interesting. We already were uncertain of what it brought with, us, uh, brought with it from uh, the asteroid belt. So who knows, here we have the end of October and I mean it wouldn't be too much of a stretch. I mean, look back there to where it was dark blue. That's where, um, that's where it broke up. Who knows where its pieces could be at this point? And then right, right as we pass into November, that's when the debris tail comes. Gotta watch out, people. Let's keep a level head and be reasonable and be safe.